Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 and Jack to Record. And well, the thing is, um, it's not so much about Jack to Record today that it is about the DLC from Class. So, I, and everyone is doing deals, um, something about the DLCs. But I want to show you what I did. Uh, I have. Uh, I thought I wouldn't just look at the stuff; I would use it. So I used it a bit, like three hours yesterday to try it out. Uh, and I bought these things from here on this farm just to we'll try it out in the near on these episodes so um what did I do where could I start well I did what I did is I basically sold off all the equipment I had um, all the tractors and stuff not all the equipment but all the tractors and stuff and then we I bought a few tractors so I bought the Siren Five thousand, I think this is. Yeah, five thousand. Uh, front weights, really cool. Uh, got a bigger Samson. So the idea is to use it and sort of try it out and see. What I think about it. Yes, I think it's pretty okay. I mean, it's pretty good. I don't think it's the, the tractors look good, uh, especially the hoses and stuff. All the hydraulics things are really amazing on the tractors. Uh, let me just set the width here. Just gonna The Siren is a really powerful tractor, it has like 500 horsepower this version, 500, 5000. Some pretty awesome stuff here. Um, there's so much stuff in the DLC, I haven't tried everything, I tried a little bit of it. Um, I haven't played this map in quite some time, but if what I did on the last time was the harvested, and actually I think it was a baling I did, so what I did is I took off I sold most of the bales. I have one field over there I'm gonna do manually just to use the equipment a bit and uh, otherwise I did most of the things I most of the things I used and it's pretty awesome. Um, this is not a re review per se, it's more like a just look at stuff, we, we're basically trying to use it on a map. I figure this is a pretty cool map, I'm going to use it on this one. Uh, so, sold with quite a lot of equipment and the thing that happened was that I got better frame rates on the map, which is cool, cool I guess. Definitely something I want. That's out. I can set it up here actually. This is really cool cool tractor. So this is the biggest front load we have, it has a smaller one, three front loaders in the package, this is the biggest one. Um, but this is pretty awesome though. Um, I sold off my Volvo, which is, was a really nice front loader, uh, wheel loader, sorry. Um, but I kept the the bucket because it holds like ten thousand liters, which is really cool. So, um, 
the DLC package is nineteen ninety nine, I think euros. So, which is actually a, I think that's a pretty good deal. I think I don't think the DLCs are very expensive on Farming Simulator, which is good. Um, you do get quite a lot of you get a ton of equipment for that money and pretty good lineup. Uh, so definitely, I think I think it's definitely worth the money. Um, but you don't have that. But I mean, look at the, all the tubing and stuff. That's really and the fan there. But I mean, definitely all the tubing and stuff that's on here. It's I think it's a really good, really good. It's a really good package and really good equipment, and it looks really nice. here I had quite a lot of manure that's good so I'm gonna try try to use the manure and try to use the slurry afterwards and fertilize the field so that doesn't cost anything. Screenshot here, maybe. It was here. Everything is here. You can see the slight difference in texturing, but it's not that big. I had to update the um, the, the game. I, I was thinking. I talked about some other episode, maybe it's, ah, where I talked about not updating it because I wanted to see what broke and what worked and stuff. But then it turned out to install the DLC, I needed to update it to 1.5.1, .1, so that's been done. Even though I usually want to hold off updating, but I had to update it to get the DLC working, so I didn't have much choice, I just did it. to you in the next video over I think also Here, we might as well do that. So, but we'll continue doing that on the next episode. I wanted to show you all the stuff so. Not just one thing, I'm going to show you the other stuff I'm have, have also going here. Let's park this over here. Um, next thing I want to show you is this... Well, I, I got this... This is the 940? Okay, 940. So, really nice tractor. Uh, I really like this, the detailing is so cool. Um, also got the scorpion here, so when you, when do you one load of uh, TMR, I think. I 
this boom is so uh, I'm gonna show you the boom because it's kind of cool so if we want to do like the two bales up top here um, the reach on this boom is ridiculous long I mean, I can easily grab those two bales up there if I want to. No issues. Even though they are quite high up no problems with this really long uh, arm it, it scoops up, I mean I, I can show you from the outside, it's easy to see there so there's a boom it's very long it's very very long Grab a couple of hay bales. One, two, three, one, two, three, something. Three of the silage bales. Grab. So I used to have a pause, which is updated, but I haven't tried the updated version. But mm, yeah, this is really awesome. Turns on a dime, far reach, uh, pretty fast. I mean, boom is kind of fast. It looks amazing. So love the all the handles and DLC equipment, though. So when uh, when it's time to do some more silage so I'm going to do that with the class Roland ah oh, crap I did that wrong oh well <laughs> it's going to be slightly weird but it might work. No. Oh. We'll do this in two. We'll go and grab the rest. Another one. See So very nice turning rate. Um, 
quite fast. I mean, it runs 43 kilometers per hour if you want to. Um, also, want to show you what I set up on the other the horse part of this let's play. to see show you here this one I thought this was kind of cool also this is the front loader version of the Torian 639 really nice one it has hookups so I can hack, hook up the water trailer uh, I'm gonna use this on the horse part over here um, the horses to feed them and stuff it doesn't have the very high reach but I think that's okay it will work anyway I hope um, sweet little thing all the stuff, uh, all the no, and this one it didn't work. Oh, maybe I have to start it. Okay, so if you start it, then the joystick works. Cool. Anyway, um, I also wanted to show you another tractor, and I don't have all the tractors in the game in the in the DLC, of course. I have the ones I thought I'd use. So I bail all the fields. Um, I only have one field left over here which I haven't bailed. And the idea is that I will do that manually. So to use the equipment. Uh, so I'm stacking it in threes. I have this auto stacker thing, which is over here somewhere. I haven't done all the bales here, so as you can tell, I need to do that a bit. And then if you stack them in three, I can go sell them. Or I can bring them back to the farm. So here's the smaller, uh, I think it's the Aryan. You can see the, the Aryan. The small tractor. I have this one in the front loader, and I'll have that on the back dock. It's an auto stacker. Come on. Oh, score. If I can manage to line this up, it's not that easy actually. It's quite easy to get that wrong. Good morning. Good morning. As if you if you get this wrong, it's very almost impossible to get it right. Unfortunately, I really suck at getting this in the right position. So easy not getting it right. I got it right, that one. I, I'm not very good at this. quite close but it needs to be in the exact right spot which is not always that easy so the Arian, Arian it sounds is really good I think this is a nice tractor it's small but definitely works nicely and The interior looks nice. We have the front loader tools with the joystick there. Uh, which works nicely too. Here. The reason why I have quite a lot of money is that I actually... Well, I sold off all the equipment and then I bought, got the new one. It's nice, but... 
Um, they did cost quite a lot of money. Um, I also sold off the bales I got from the other fields, which brought me about 200 grand, so that's pretty good. That's kind of good. Yes, and I just drive around here, getting this stacked. Don't know if you can attach this to uh, a baler. Sometimes it's hard to get it to work. I think you need to drive pretty close, but I'm not too close because I wanted to get in there. do that. I need to calibrate my joystick. Let's keep getting sort of in. on here. No. I when this starts messing around and it's almost it's so hard to get this right. This is really sensitive in how you do this. I don't know if it's sensitive at things in real life. get this on here. I need to get it exactly right there. There we go. No, oh, I got it right. This is the smallest one. This has the panoramic uh, roof, which you can get. I think that's like an add-on. Not add-on is my word. It's not the word I'm looking for. It's well, you can get it anyway if you want to, but it costs extra.
did something wrong there, didn't I? It not really work the way it should be. Should you? Um, something else. Namely the combine I'm thinking. Oh this is so touchy. Usually it's just better to start over when it does that. on the side but I think it, it still gets in goes in here no it didn't <laughs> crap I need to flip that over the combine, I just need to load this. Turn it off. So let's go and grab our scorpion and we'll we might as well bring some of this. Back to the farm. I'm guessing we'll have to we put it on some sort of trailer. No, do it this way. Well, I guess you could do it this way if you wanted to. But I don't think you would do it this way in real life. So here's the combine. I got the biggest one <laughs> that's in the game. The ED700 I think it's called. And the Lexan ED900. ED900, so with Terratrex. I uh, got the biggest header, which is like 12 point something. Apparently in real life there's a bigger one, 12 point 3 I think. Uh, there's a bigger header in real life, but that's not included in the DLC. This can actually run a header that's 13 meters something, so... Which is very big. Very big. And I think we'll do more, some more Let's Plays on the Top map and see, look at the DLC and uh, stuff in it better in the future. Um, but that's for next another episode. Um, I need to set this up. Oh, so hard. Uh, I showed you all the stuff I'm doing now, right? This, I have that, I have the Torian, I have the Combine, the Xerian. Oh, that's what I'm doing now, and, and basically, so I'm gonna. Continue to do stuff. I'm looking forward to trying this out. Also looking forward to trying this out, but that's not now. Need to get around to that. I like I mean the animations. This is so amazing. All the small detailing is really cool. Uh, 
So great DLC, and I'll put a link to the pack, uh, link in the description. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Andy. If you liked this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment, share. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye bye.